Off Point Airco with a little video where I'm at the Science Museum for the Power Up Exhibition. Power Up Exhibition is really an exhibition where all consoles that have ever been created is at one place and you get to have fun and uh, just enjoy yourself really. So it's like going to be a geeky uh, day out. And the last time Science Museum actually did this was back in 2019, as far as I can recall. Uh, so the fact that it's here again a second time is a treat for me. And I'm going to show you all about it because it is such a great exhibition. So let's go. coming inside we need to just f figure out where the power up exhibition is but just generally the science museum looks beautiful and um, should always be a venue of interest whenever you come to London where is it? it's on uh, minus one Minus one downstairs, yeah? yeah? Here we are. I think we're on a list to get in. Now we're going through these uh, old appliances to get to power up. believe we are here in fact I know we're here because <laughs> I can see all of the consoles that is uh, on exhibit we're gonna of course have to show our tickets at the beginning but this is amazing <laughs> I can't wait <laughs> And this is, uh, <laughs> this is amazing. This just looks so incredible. And it is much more uh, detailed and categorized than last time. So you have a uh, tea player over here, as well as uh, other categories like Mario, Sonic, superhero, driving, Zelda <laughs> Of course Zelda has to have its own category as well as different consoles so you got PC games as well as four player over here which I'm gonna go and have a look. Oh wait. This is my Crash Team Racing Xbox version. Crash Team Racing? Yeah, but Xbox version. Noah's playing Crash Team Racing here. No, is that the old version or the new version? <laughs> it's <is> amazing. <laughs> I'm so stoked. <laughs> this is so great. I, I was saying how much that this needed to come back and I'm so glad that it has. And it's gone even bigger now, in fact. So uh, the last time that it was here, it didn't have the different categories as I mentioned. It was just literally from the beginning of the timeline from video games all the way to the present day, um, which I'm gonna show you of course. But now it has other things as well, including physical versions, including six player versions and 16 player versions. It's, it's a, it's a uh, video game is geek heaven. So here, the timeline that I mentioned it started from 1976. Apparently that was when the first video game of, its, of any kind came out in the Binatone TV Master. And it's just like a uh, ping pong type 
game in 1976. The Atari 2600 in 1978. This is before my time. <laughs> before my time. But um, it's still remarkable to look at it. BBC Micro, Vectrex. So this is where my generation begins from. The third generation. Commodore 64 there in 1982. We had the ZX Spectrum. This is great. The first Nintendo in 1983, the Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> With Amstrad coming shortly after it in 1984. Wow, the Master System. Look at that. That's incredible. And then the Mega Drive right here. This is great. The Mega Drive I used to play um, Alice the Kid all the time, repeatedly. <laughs> and the SNES. Mega Drive and the SNES. These are my days. And then, of course, the Mega CD coming out. <laughs> the Philips CDI. Does anyone remember the Philips CDI? Of course, the first PlayStation. And the Sega Saturn, the first Sega console to use CDs. And the N64. <laughs> the N64. Dreamcast and PlayStation 2. And the Xbox as well. Look at that, the Wii. Which takes us to the eighth generation. I don't think it stops here though, of course. Obviously, it's still missing the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. I suppose if almost everyone here has got that console, <laughs> maybe they don't need to bring it here. But um, yeah, that is, that's remarkable. Forget the arcades. Physical, which is a, another section that wasn't in the last section, and I believe this is all about really. Uh, is what it says on the tin, anything that you need to do other than um, use a pad. So if you're, um, you know, like here, the woman's playing on the bongos, if you have to do that, if you have to swing a golf club to play golf or any other physical activity to play the game, then um, this is what it will be here. Sure, Guitar Hero as well would be classified as uh, physical, which was massively popular back in the day. Of course, Mario having its own section because of such an iconic video game and franchise as a whole. And 
Sonic over here. Now, now I wasn't much of a PC games gamer, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I would always have a uh, video game console, but I can't deny that PC games had uh, a massive presence back in the day when it came to um, letting off some steam playing some games. I remember playing Worms, in fact. That's the only game that I played on a, on a PC. here is golden eye oh my goodness that takes me back that's amazing such an iconic game never really cared for the movie I think I watched it but it was the game for me I can't believe I uh, nearly missed the sports section. But sports section was ma well, <coughs> particularly football was massive in my house and in my upbringing. Play with my uncle. Uh, Pro Evolution and FIFA were just uh, massive, massive games being raised up with. I wonder if they have track and field. What is this game? This is Nintendo 64 1080. That's exactly what I'm filming on. <laughs> uh, of course, you've got golf. But anytime I see golf on a video game, I can't help but remember um, Simpsons. Would you like to play again? You selected no. Disney has its own section. Disney has its own section, even starting from uh, the first Nintendo console back in 1982, 83. They got Scrooge McDuck here. As well as uh, Aladdin and Winnie the Pooh. This saber here. <laughs> got Lego. Lego has its own section. Wow. Did Lego have a massive presence? I, 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 thought, I thought in recent times, I didn't know back in the day, but you've even got Lego games on the PlayStation 2 here. Zelda. Of course. Link. And Zelda here, you've got... <laughs> the Hyrule Kingdom. At your fingertips. Here's Zelda on the N64. And I remember this big time. Look at that. You've got a fighting section. I haven't looked into yet, but I'm gonna look at that. Oh my god! Is that WWF attitude? <laughs> of course, the first Tekken game as well. There we go. What did, what was this game? This is at the top of my, this is the tip of my tongue and I can't remember what the game is. Please, put the comments below, what is this video game? Because for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called. And it's bugging me. Of course, you've got Street Fighter. Classic fighting game here. I'm surprised they don't have Mortal Kombat though. 
You have the superhero section here as well. Power Rangers on the SNES. And then X-Men on the Mega Drive. <laughs> Here, Asia playing on the Atari. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I wonder what this game. Oh, this is Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man game, yeah. Spider Man. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Are you even used to the controllers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've played this one. Yeah, this is, this is Power Rangers. This is what I was talking about before. Is that Amy? Yeah. yeah. There's the putty man. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to play on uh, some attitude. So I'm gonna be playing on um, WWE at the time, but WWE attitude on uh, N64. Of course I'm going to be stone cold. Why would I? I'm going to play Kane. <laughs> Let's have that hardcore match, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Come on, stone cold. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yes! I think I'm winning. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on! That's it, right? I've won. I just need to pin him. How do I pin him? There we go. I didn't know how to pin, but at least I beat him. Oh, that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I just love everything about this place. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can actually spend hours here. The Sabre and Asya playing uh, Street Fighter. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, you told me to change clothes on. I'm changing it to black on. Oh, we're electrocuted. You're just not going to beat us at our games, Miss Sabre. These are our old school games, bro. Oh! That's it, it's going to lose. No, look at this cheating. How is it cheating? That's not good. Yeah, you need to do something else. Let's not get all heated up. <laughs> We're playing now. This game. <laughs> All right. Oh no, here we go. A goal, kid. Dead boy. All right, okay. All right, well, I'm okay. You will know who the champion is. Okay, wife. <laughs> I gotta show this because <laughs> this is just amazing. Micro Machines Turbo Tournament, which was a game that I used to play so much. Oh my.
my goodness. Right here on the Sega Mega Drive. This was just a great game. Um, and I never really appreciated it as much. I just played it because it was there, but thinking about it, thinking back at it is uh, <laughs> a great game. And I loved it. I remember these, where you'll be a little car. I'm the red one trying to catch up to the blue, but I think I'm winning. Oh no! Oh my god, that was dirty. Did you see that? That was cheating from the CPU. What's Mawali doing? What are you playing now, Mawahid? Uh, I'm playing Halo. Halo? Yeah. I'm second right now. I can't beat So the this is 16 player station. So that means all 16 people are on this game? Yeah. Like this one game? Yeah. Really? Yeah. This whole, this, there's like a whole, like, it just goes all around and everyone's playing on this screen. That's amazing. Like, <laughs> every single one is on the same game. That's fantastic. All right. I didn't really explore the game, the driving section in the game as much. I wonder what games are on here. Okay, so you got, of course, Mario Kart. Is that Need for Speed? I see you're playing the classics. I've been here for what, almost three hours <laughs> and I'm still not done. I'm still trying to play every game that I can, that I remember. Um, it's just such a great place to, to come and chill out and have fun. exhibition. Uh, I hope you uh, had a treat uh, looking at what the exhibition looks like uh, and what features in there, the games that you can play and just a general vibe. Um, I uh, didn't know this but when I spoke to the uh, people that work here they said that it has been on since 2019. It actually came on after lockdown so it was in 2021 and it was here on 2022 and as of 27th of July this year, 2023, it is here for the foreseeable future. At least the next 10 years is what they told me. It's going to be permanent. So that is great news for, <laughs> definitely for me because I love the place, but also for you uh, video game fans out there as well. So make sure you come to the Science Museum to check this out because it is a great, great exhibition to come to. And um, yeah, that's it for me. I will see you in the next video.